today we are going to do an interesting topic that is the defense mechanisms and this is in case of the psychiatry so as usual we are going to start off with a few questions so what is distortion next is what is hypochondriasis hypochondriasis the last question is what is altruism what is altruism so in this video we'll find out the answers to all these questions and we'll learn a lot more so firstly uh, we are going to look in groups that is firstly we are going to deal with the narcissistic narcissistic psychotic diseases defenses so here there is uh, firstly there is denial so what is denial denial means that it is used to avoid becoming aware of some painful aspects so the patient they avoid the painful aspects of reality so avoid reality so and this is painful aspects of reality is avoided so what does it mean to give an example the patient can deny that the patient doesn't have cancer so the patient will tell i don't have cancer even though they know that they have cancer so this is nothing but denial next we move on to distortion so what is distortion so distortion is grossly reshaping the experience of external reality so they reshape the external reality to suit their needs so external reality comes they are shaped into real they are needs shaped into needs so the example of this is that telling that the individual has superpowers the individual has superpowers and the patient feels that they are the individual feels that they are superior to others so this will be a good example for distortion then we move on to the other thing that is a projection so we move on to projection so what is projection so in case of projection it is uh, nothing but attributing your own wishes attributing your own wishes own wishes as well as thoughts and feelings onto someone else onto someone else and example is being very sure that is a telling that my friend is cheating on me so being very sure that your friend is cheating on you so this is a example next we are looking at splitting so splitting means that the external objects are divided into all good and all bad so the external objects are divided into all good and all bad so the example here is that you divide it so you tell that during morning the workers are performing better and in the evening the workers are bad workers are bad so this is an example of splitting so to just summarize the narcissistic psychotic differences so here we saw that we saw denial next we saw the distortion then we saw the projection and we saw splitting as well we saw splitting now we'll move on to the immature defenses so what are immature defenses so in case of immature defenses this includes firstly acting out so acting out it means that you have a outburst 
outburst of the behavioral as well as the emotional aspect so for example the child being aggressive upon their patient upon their parents getting divorced next is we are looking at blocking so blocking means the temporary block of thinking so you block the thinking process block the thinking and example of this is that you can that your friend or any other person they know that they have you have known them for years so you have known them for years but still they can never think of remembering your name so they never know your name so this is nothing but temporarily block in thinking next is looking at the hypochondriasis so in case of the hypochondriasis it's a defense style in which the people say that no one understands their pain so it is when the person says the person says that no one understands me so no one understands me and this is nothing but referring to the pain so the example is same that is a, a patient saying or a person saying that nobody understands the how i feel nobody understands how i feel i am feeling terrible so this will be one example and next one is introjection so introjection is that a features of the external world are taken and made part of the self so the external world are taken and made part of the self so example of this is that a physician dresses like the attending whom he admires the physician dressing like attending whom he admires so this is nothing but introjection next we move on to the passive aggression aggressive behavior passive aggressive behavior so what is this passive aggressive behavior the aggressive intent is clocked by passive method so it is clocked by passive method just as we discussed so the example is uh, you are not you are procrastinating like procrastinating to avoid to avoid the promotion so procrastinating work to avoid promotion this is passive aggressive behavior then we move on to uh, the projection we move on to projection so what is projection it is uh, non psychotic so the projection is unwanted feeling are displaced onto another person so unwanted feelings are projected into someone else so an example of this is say someone is being rude to you at work so the same behavior is being projected at home this is known as the projection next we look at the regression so in case of regression there is a return to an earlier state of development so there is return in the earlier state of development and it is mostly immature it is most immature it is most immature so the example is ever since the divorce ever since the divorce my 5 year old has begun to wet the bed so the child has begun to wet the bed so this is nothing but regression return to an earlier state of development and most immature next one being the schizoid fantasy so in case of the schizoid fantasy 
it is a tendency to retreat into fantasy in order to resolve the inner and outer conflicts so tendency to retreat into fantasy to resolve the inner and outer conflicts so the examples of this it includes firstly that is the adolescence daydreaming adolescence daydreaming on the pornographic materials next one is somatization so in case of somatization it is nothing but a psychic derivatives are converted into bodily symptoms so the psychic derivatives they are converted into the bodily symptoms so the examples being just thinking of an exam so it is like thinking of an exam so when you think of exams you get butterflies in your stomach so this is an example of somatization then we look at the neurotic defenses so just to recap what we did in case of the immature defenses the first what we saw was acting out then we looked at blocking and beyond that we look saw the hypochondriasis chondriasis then we saw the introjection next we also saw the passive aggressive behavior then after this we saw projection that is we saw projection then we even saw the regression next after that we saw the schizoid fantasy as well as the somatization somatization so these are the immature defenses so next we'll be moving on to the neurotic defenses neurotic defenses so in case of the neurotic defenses there is externalization first one looking at the externalization so what is externalization it is perceiving one's own personality so perceiving perceiving one's own personality and also impulses personality impulses as well as mood and attitude in the external world so you perceive one's own personality impulses and moods in the external world so the example here is that an argumentative person so a person who is very arguing so this person he perceives the doctor as argumentative so he'll always perceive the doctor to be argumentative and believing himself to be blameless so this is nothing but the externalization then we look at the displacement so what is displacement it is the shifting of emotion about one object so shifting the emotion shifting emotion from one object from one object or individual on to another so this is nothing but displacement so this is nothing but example is getting angry at your parents so angry at parents because you had a bad day at work so you had a bad day at work bad day so you are angry at your parents so this is an example of the displacement then we move on to the inhibition inhibition so inhibition is uh, there is a conscious or unconscious constraint of the process or behavior so this conscious as well as the unconscious constraint 
of process or behavior and the example here is that a desire to eat a dessert so desire to eat dessert as well as on the same hand you want to lose weight so both are very contrary so this is what is meant by the inhibition next we look at the intellectualization so in case of the intellectualization there is excessive use of the intellectual process so this excessive use of the intellectual process to avoid the affective expression so to avoid the affective expression or the experience so the example is it is very interesting to note the skin lesions so it is interesting to note the skin lesions which seem to arise as a consequence of my end stage disease so what you see is you think it is very interesting so you think the skin lesions looking is very interesting due to your end stage disease then we move on to the isolation so what is isolation so isolation is nothing but a separation of the idea from the effect that accompanies it so separation of the idea from the effect that accompanies it so example is she as she arrived at the station as she arrived at the station to identify the body she appears to show no emotion so she shows no emotion so this is nothing but isolation next we see is the rationalization so in case of rationalization the rational explanations so the rational explanations they are used to justify the unacceptable attitudes so unacceptable attitudes as well as the belief and the behaviors so the example is that you didn't get a good marks in the test and you are telling it because of being harder so you're telling it is harder than the year before that is the last year so you didn't perform well this is nothing but rationalization next we look at the reaction formation so what is reaction formation there is an unacceptable impulse so this unacceptable impulse and this is is transferred to the opposite transfer to its opposite and it results in formation of characteristic traits so it forms the impulse of the characteristic traits so what is the example so rational formation example is so is listen to him tell his family listen to him tell his family that he was not afraid when i saw him crying not afraid when i saw him crying so this is an example of the reaction formation that is nothing but an unacceptable impulse is transferred to its opposite so he was not afraid next one is repression so repression is nothing but an idea or a feeling is withheld idea or feeling is withheld from consciousness withheld from consciousness or the unconscious forgetting so this is example is i do not remember having a cat so we don't remember having a cat so this is an example next one is sexualization so this is basically endowing an object 
endowing an object or a function with the sexual significance. Next is we are looking at the undoing. So what is undoing? Undoing is acting out the reverse. So act out the reverse of an unacceptable behavior. When unacceptable, unacceptable behavior. So what is the example? So the example here is that I need to wash my hands. I need to wash my hands whenever I have these thoughts. So this is an example of the undoing. Next we are looking at the retroflexion. Retroflexion is self-destruction. It is nothing but self-destruction. And this is due to rage. This is due to rage. So, here the example is that a person cutting his wrist. The person cutting the wrist. And why is he cutting the wrist? Because he is angry with himself. So, angry with himself. This is an example of the retroflexion. Next, we are going to jump into the mature defenses. So, before that, let us recap the topics we have read. So, we have seen the neurotic defenses. We have seen the neurotic defenses. So, under the neurotic defenses, we saw there is a externalization. Externalization. Then we also saw the displacement. We saw the inhibition. Next, we also saw the intellectualization. Intellectualization. And after this, we saw the isolation. We saw isolation. So, as we read this name, please recollect these definitions. So then the rationalization, then the reaction formation, then repression, as well as the sexualization, undoing, and the retroflexion. Now we move on to the mature defenses. So, what are the mature defenses? So, under mature defenses, firstly we will see the altruism. So, altruism is nothing but getting pleasure from giving others. So, you get pleasure from helping others or giving others what you would have liked to receive. So, what you would have liked to receive. So, example is So, example is a teacher teaching students in a best possible way which they didn't receive. This is an example of altruism. So, next we are looking at anticipation. So, what is anticipation? Anticipation means that realistically you plan or anticipate the future discomfort. So, you anticipate the discomfort which which can occur in the future so example is before a surgery you would anticipate the anxiety so this is anticipation next we look at the ascetism a setism so ascetism is gratification derived from the renunciation so it is nothing but the gratification which is derived from the renunciation. Then we look at the humor. This is common. Humor is nothing but the permits the expression of feelings. So it permits the expression of feelings and thought. 
So the feeling and thought without the personal discomfort. So without personal discomfort. So this is nothing but the humor. So the thing is, in case, so here there is a army. This is an example. So there's an army and there are some chronic smokers who smoke cigarette due to stress. And so they have a severe war going on. And one person, he offers a cigarette. And the person tells, no, I don't want. No, it's not for me. I'm trying to quit. So this is a kind of humor. Next is sublimation. So in case of sublimation, there's an impulse gratification. There is an impulse gratification and but the aim or object has been changed but the aim or object has been changed from unacceptable from unacceptable to the acceptable and allows instincts to be channeled so it allows instincts to be channeled and this is one of the most mature defenses so the example is jack the riper becomes a surgeon so this is an example next we look at the suppression so what is suppression so in case of suppression, there is a conscious forgetting. There is conscious forgetting. And the only conscious defense is mechanism. This is only conscious defense mechanism. This is nothing but the suppression. This is nothing but suppression. So the example here is that I would rather talk about my operation. So, I rather talk about the operation after this party is over. So, this is nothing but suppression, conscious forgetting. So, now we jump back to the questions we asked. So, the first question we asked was, what is distortion? So, distortion is nothing but there is a grossly reshaping the experience. There is reshaping the experience of the external reality to suit their inner needs. To suit the inner needs. This is distortion next is we are looking at the hypochondriasis hypochondriasis so what is hypochondriasis it is a defense style in which the people say that no one understands their pain so no one understands their pain this is hypochondriasis then we saw the Altruism. So, altruism, it is nothing but getting pleasure from giving it to others, getting pleasure from helping others, which the individual would have liked to receive. So, the example we saw was teaching in a best possible way, which they have received. This is nothing but a teacher teaching in a better way which they didn't receive so this is an example of the altruism so now 
asking a few questions. So we would again like to ask a few questions. That is, what is projection? Then, what is somatization? What is somatization? And next, what is retroflexion? So let us know the answers in the comment section.